assuming you're going to be live right now. I'm live? You didn't warn me. Hi. I don't know if you are yet, OK, we're not sure if I'm live. I might be live. Thanks for the heads up. What's going on? Can they hear me? It doesn't look like I'm live. Say that, Joe. Say Juice. Oh, yeah. I am? Yep, yep, How do you know? I am live. <laughs> it is happening. OK. Hi. Look, we have new camera setups. And there's nobody watching, which makes me think it's not real. No, it's real. It's just going gonna, gonna to take a second for that to crash. It's real. Like, is real? Yeah, it's real. Is real for real? Hold on. Let me just. W one person's watching. Is it my mom? Take two. All right. Let's try again. All right. Take two. You're live. We can hear you. And we're back. Da -da -da -da. All right. Cool. All right. We are here. Emily, hi. Thank you, everyone, for coming back round two. Um, you should probably talk to my mom and let her know we're back so that way Rose can join. We love Rose. What? She, she might not. You look so much better with the camera. I know. I do look. I look great <laughs> it, when, with the ring light on, too. I'm not blurry. I can't believe we use that crappy camera. I, I can't believe you guys watched that. Show. I know. That was not good. <laughs> this is so much better. No, no one said anything. I know. That's I, kind of rude on them. That's not rude on them. Maybe they thought it was a filter, a really bad filter. Look at my, it looks like I have highlight on my cheeks, but really I'm just sweaty because it's hot AF out. Let's see how um, Lulu looks. Lulu, do you look beautiful? Lulu needs to go outside. Lulu, you're so beautiful. Oh, his little peen's showing. Yeah, don't, don't we, we, can't, we can't embarrass him in front of his friends. Dun, 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 dun. This is really bright on his face. Hi. You saying hi to all your fans? He's like, why am I in the air? Put me down, woman. Um, we bet, girl, it's, it's so hot, it's a lot. It's disgusting outside. Like. It feels like we should be in like a tropical island. It's so humid, except we're not. We're in a city, and it's gross, and it's dirty, and it's hot. Ugh. Um, all right, all right. What's going on? We'll watch through anything, y'all. Loved your small space living Instagram scroll. Thank you. All right, cool. You don't like those ones. No, I do like those ones. I just feel like they're not like as impactful, but I do enjoy them. It's fun to look at apartments. Who doesn't enjoy looking at apartments? I do. I love looking at apartments. Um, guys, I'm excited to eat dinner. I'm hungry and I'm sleepy. I will also be out of town next week. So we gotta, we gotta do the whole shebang this week. All right, boom. Um, should I just go ahead and start? Do we start? I don't know either. Is there anything, we're, there's gonna be plenty of time to chat. Why don't you pop up a second camera so they can watch me pull stuff out of the fridge, but leave they, this one here. The new tricks? The Alex? New tricks has set up cameras now and he's very excited right, except you moved the chat so now I can't see it I can no longer see the chat oh, you moved it chat. yeah and now I can't see my friends hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I don't know what they're saying uh yes they're back all right ready watch this trick number one trick number one okay so now when we want to go back to double cam they can just go pow and now it's on like that <laughs> you see that and now you have that camera there but now watch this we can plow whoa and now you got big hands go ahead do, do a dance Dun, 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 dun. But then watch this, watch this. We can go next to each other. Oh. Cool. Kind of cool, right? That's kind of cool. And you can switch. You want to duck a little bit. And okay. Then one or the other. What about the stove cam? Oh, yeah? You want to see some stove cam? Right? Yeah. All right, let's get the stove cam going. Pow, we have the stove cam. Wow, can you do all three cams? That's quite wild looking, but it if could we, work. If we do three, I can always move the stove cam. Like the stove cam could go up here. It could be, it could be like a little guy. Okay. And then we could do uh, this, and then it could be like, wow, we got everything going on. We got it all. Um, Ashley asked if my set is from Old Navy. It is, and I wear this thing almost daily. <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous. I'm in this all the time. If you guys see me walking around or walking Louie ever, I will most likely be wearing this set because it's all I wear. Um, Lou is adorable. Dev says you're fancy. Side by side, that's so cool. I love how excited Alex is about cameras. You go, Glen Coco. What the fuck? Why is it hotter in Chicago than it is in Florida where I am? I'm moving to escape this heat. This is ridiculous today. This is not how it normally is. I usually leave the windows open in our apartment as much as possible. Today I had to close them because literally we have like polished cement floors, like they're like cement. 
Um, and it was so humid in here that you could see like the uh, dew. No, not dew. What would it be called? Moisture. Like, moisture? I feel like there's a better word for I think it. it is dew, humidity. Dew, humidity. Like the yeah. I think it was outside. Of you dew. could see you could see the humidity like on the floors. Like our floors were like wet, and you could see our footprints from like it was gross, 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 gross. Um, Esther says hello, everyone. Debbie says Alex, move. <laughs> Oh. But now you don't look ridiculous. Now you look adorable. Thank you. This isn't my preferred way to look. Okay, anyways. Condensation. It looks so much better. It does. Condensation is what I meant to say. Condensation. All right, I'm going to move this camera over here, and then you want to turn it on, and then we're going to, I'm going to pull out the things from the fridge of what I'm going to make. Oh, wow, look at this. Yeah, I know. That's why I did it. Well, we See? Do it, we could do it side by side. This was my idea. Ooh, yes. we got some ricotta. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna use things that I didn't anticipate just cause I have them in the fridge and we're going out of town. We got ricotta, we got pesto, we got chicken. We got, I don't need any of these. I don't need any of oh, those. No, like see my clothes on the floor. Oh no, you oh, no, slob. We'll do some spinach. Oh, we have some mushrooms. We'll throw those in, why not? Um, little zook action. We'll do some garlic. Um, do I have a, we have some onion, we'll use this bad boy. Do I have two cucumbers in here and they've both gone bad? Oh, I do. I didn't realize I had two cucumbers and both of them have gone bad. RIP, sorry cucumbers, those can go. Um, okay, I think that's it for this area. And then I gotta get out my little, I'm gonna leave the cauliflower gnocchi in the freezer until it's time for me to cook them, just because I, don't want those to get soggy. That is the worst. Okay, let's move over to the cooking station. But I'm bum bum. Alex, I'm making a pork roast seasoned with your Bosari coffee rub your mom gifted me. My mom said that. Oh, cool. That's cool. Mom, let us know how it is. Let us know how it goes. All right. Now give me a. Oh, well, I guess I just moved this here now. Yeah. What does it look like? I can't see it on your screen. You want that up there? Is that what? Yeah, I know, but th this camera's not on anymore. Um, what, do you, what do you want? You want that one on? Yeah. Like this. Yeah. See? We'll go like that. Looks great. Looks great. Cool. All right. First thing we're going to do is we're going to get these meatballs going because I want to pop those bad boys into a pan and then into the oven. I'm going to take a little Lou outside. You're going to take a little Lou outside? He'll be so excited. Oh, help, help, help. Help, I'm short, help. <laughs> Louis also came to help. Um, I need the food processor, please. You mean the blender? No, the <laughs> blender's that one. <laughs> I need the food processor. It's a type of blender, right? It is not. Please hand it to me. No, <laughs> I need the rest of it. Thank you, Danke Shane. You're welcome. Cool, goodbye. Come on, Louis, you wanna go outside? All right, so I think in the actual meatballs, I'm going to do some onion. I think I'm going to go onion, ricotta, garlic, handful of spinach, and like half a zucchini. Maybe do it. Okay. Wait, can you do me a poll? Help, I need a poll. You're not allowed to leave, sorry. Can you, can you also give me a poll and say, should I put mushrooms in the meatballs or just in the dish? Bring this up here so you can see how polls work. Right. Meatballs or dish? Yeah, yeah. I don't need to learn. No, no, it's just, it's so easy. It's so easy. It's just this button. Kss, kss. All right, so what's the question? Do I put mushrooms in? Mushrooms in meatballs? Pasta sauce. Mm, pasta sauce isn't exactly right, but like, because it's going to be pasta, but like in the pasta. Option. No, 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 no. That's it. And That's, we send it. Send it! Ask the community! Uh, <laughs> I believe you know me as Frank. <laughs> Frank. <laughs> Cervantes, I do not know you as Frank. I know you as Cervantes. Okay. Oh, see, now it's working. There you go. Now we can see. All right. I'll let you guys rock and roll with that. And in the meantime, I'm going to chop things to put in All here. Right. Come on, Lulu. Little cutting board, a little knife action. First, we're going to do the onion. I know onion's going in. If I, I don't have any eggs right now, which is quite unfortunate, because normally I put eggs in my 
meatballs as well. I feel like it's like a good little binding agent, but I don't have them. Oh, people are just saying pasta sauce. All right. I didn't know what was going to be the result of this one, but I'm open either way. So we'll go onion. Oops, oops, oops. I didn't put the little, I need the little knifey thing back in there. Okay, there we go. Boom. I think pasta sauce, well, pasta sauce is winning. We're at 75%. I don't know. Is this thing on a time limit? I don't know how these work. Alex will have to come back and tell me. All right. And then do some garlic. Ugh. My one gripe with garlic is it's so messy. I hate peeling garlic because you just get these little peels everywhere. Does somebody have like a hack of like how I can get all the garlic out without just making an absolute mess? Because it is the worst. It is the worst. Oh, see the pole's still going. Is this on a time limit or not? I'm not sure. Anyways, what else is going on? I'm late to the party, but hey, hello. Welcome Haley Santa. How's it going? All right, guys, uh, because it's been a whole week since we chatted last, everybody tell me some good news. What's something good that's happened in your life recently? Throw it in the chat. Let's celebrate each other. Last week, we had some people get job promotions. Some people are moving. Um, I think my good news is probably Alex was out of town all weekend. Did I miss him? Yes. Did I also thoroughly enjoy having a really clean apartment and eating all of my meals on the couch by myself? Also, yes. So that was a little fun one for me. But let's hear, what's something, what's something fun you did? What's something that made you happy? Maybe it's a compliment that someone gave you that you really enjoyed. I'm going back to school this weekend. That's exciting. What's, well, are you, okay, I was gonna say what school, but if you're a teacher, that's a creepy question. But if you're like in college, then that's a fun question. I went to Arizona State, go devils. Okay, see now I just have this, oh, can you, you guys can't even see. What a shame, I'm learning. Okay, we'll go here. Uh, did you watch The Bachelorette season finale last night? Because that's a whole topic on its own as well. Got to go and see my nieces, that's fun. I finally got my Hovet mirror from Ikea, but it came with a small crack in the, oh, okay, wow, that was a whirlwind of a comment, Debbie. It was a, it came with a crack in the corner. So you got it for free, honestly. If, if it came with, like I would take it for free if it comes with a crack, I'd be like, yep. That's totally fine, no problem, thank you so much. Um, and now you have a free mirror, and it's huge, that's cool. How big is this like small crack? That sounds great. I received two job offers, but I'm holding out for that third golden opportunity. Ooh, that third one must be pretty dang good then. What, what, uh, what realm of occupation are you looking in? That's fun, congratulations. I, uh, are you negotiating for higher wages? What's the, tell, spill the tea. Let's pump each other up. Um, okay, I hate peeling garlic. I feel like this takes so long. I'm so sorry, everyone. Oh my gosh, congrats, Gabriela. It's like two inches in the bottom corner. Can't even see it. Perfect. Yeah, you crack that baby and you get it for free. I'm, I'm, I would be totally cool with that. Gabriela, are you in school now or are you um, like recently graduated and this is your first job? That was, that was such a scary time. I remember being so pumped that like someone would even want to interview me when all I'd ever done was like worked in restaurants and gotten like my bachelor's degree. Gabriela says, thanks Haley, Louie is back. He pooped, how was it? I've started exercise again since slacking off during quarantine. That's always good. I, uh, I always like, I've said this before across my social media, but like, Exercising more so than doing something like for me physically, it makes me feel so much better mentally. Like I am just in such a better headspace. I'm so much more positive, especially like about myself. Like I'm kinder to myself when I'm exercising, which I think is important. Okay, she answered all of my questions. Negotiating, yes, sales and marketing, cool. Try to not jinx it, but I'll. De but you definitely know one of the places. What? DM me, spill the tea. I love this. I feel like I get to know secrets. I actually never went to school, just learned and built everything through experience and networking. We love to hear it. I love that. Good for you. We love a hustle. Experience and networking won't put you into it, debt. It, yeah, experience and networking won't put you into debt. And experience and networking is what gets you everywhere. I swear. That's so cool. I love that. Your mama loves hearing about you enjoying exercise. My mom is like an exercise junkie. Like, she doesn't do drugs, only does exercise. She like teaches Pilates and yoga 
and then also like rides her standing what are those stationary bike for like an hour a day and takes her dog on like seven mile walks and her dog like does not even want to go on these seven mile walks it's quite sad poor moppet is living her fittest life and never asked for this um and then my mom makes her like carrot and buckwheat treats because she's extremely healthy moppet is one healthy girl because she doesn't have a say and she can't talk and she doesn't have thumbs to run away moppet's my mom's dog she's very cute and very healthy all right we are almost done with Garlic taking forever. I also need to, hey, you want to do me a favor? Yeah. That little squishy mat that's on the side of the fridge, can you toss that down here? Yeah. I do. My feet are so tired. We filmed a video today, and then I was not wearing good shoes, and now my toes hurt. So let's see if I can end this poll now. Oh, oh, the poll's still just, like, running? Yeah, I mean, we still want to know. Okay. No, we, I think we got our answer, though. Pasta sauce only. Got it. Noted. So I hit end poll. Does that put, like, in the chat? I don't know. I think it did last time. Okay. There's that. I think I'm also actually not gonna add zucchini into the meatballs either. And we'll just do like a heavy like veggie sauce of like zucchini and mushrooms. This I'm gonna just do the spinach, onions, and garlic. And we'll add some chili flakes to start. Well, actually I'll mix the chili flakes in with the ricotta because I'm gonna add the ricotta in. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot one. There was one more little garlic that escaped me. Cervantes got a kettle ball and kettle bell, excuse me, and it's been kicking his butt. We worked out this morning and we did calf raises and I was holding a kettle bell. Oh my God, my calves were on fire. My butt cheeks were on fire. Everything hurt. It was hard, but we did it. And it was pretty good. I liked it. I want to do those again. Those workouts. Yeah. Okay. Bada bing, bada boom. Mr. Mold Wide always step in the room. I'm a hustler, baby. I feel like you guys just hear me like randomly sing throughout the entire stream and are probably like, what the hell is this girl doing? But unfortunately, this is how I act all the time. Okay, I'm gonna do the zhuzhi thing. Yes. Tell them to cover their ears. Everyone cover your ears, here we go. Hmm. I need the spinach to go down more. Alex is very happy with the technology. Okay. That's pretty good. I'm going to scoop the ricotta straight in there. Mm, no, I'm not. That was a lie. I'm not going to do that. I hate this garlic mess. Um, my mom says, proud of you. <laughs> Thanks, mom. I need to work on my arms, got some flat action. Hey, there is nothing better for Hagen Cervantes. It is all good. See, I feel like I need a partner to work out. Honestly, I'm not good at working out by myself. Like having somebody to like be there and hold me accountable is very important to me. We worked out with Ashley this morning too. And I called her like nine times being like, are you coming up? We are here, get up here. And then it, she came and it was great. It was also nice to have Alex there because, like, he has, like, has lifted weights before. <gasps> okay, I knew you were about to do something weird, and I didn't know what it was, and I'm, like, angry about it. Go away. Get out of my stream. <laughs> Get out of my swamp. And uh, it was nice to have someone who could, like, kind of coach us through and, like, tell us what the exercises were in, like, correct form when needed be or tell us what weights we needed to use. I don't know. Hello, Noah. Welcome to the stream. Where are you from? How would you find me? We're about to be virtual BFFs. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this commitment? Here we go. All right. And here, this is just onion, garlic, and some spinach. And now we'll add in some ricotta. I didn't even think about using ricotta in these meatballs, but now I have it, and I want to use it. So we'll just do a, this is part skim. Yeah, part skim ricotta from Trader Joe's. What do I have this from? Why did I buy ricotta? No, I used it for something else. All right, put that off to the side. When I visit Kai and Alex, we will do an exercise video, if Kai will allow, says my mom. Thanks, mom. That would be fun. All right. Allows. It, Kai allows. Um, <laughs> that means you said, yeah, that's another thing. I don't know what I'm doing 90% of the time. Yeah, it's not easy. I feel you. All right, I, add, but I don't really need to add basil. We're making pesto. Um, a little bit of basil. What is this? Well, right now I'm making the chicken meatballs, and then we're going to do um, cauliflower and gnocchi. This is chicken meatballs. 
Okay. Yeah, right now I'm actively making chicken meatballs. What, nothing about this screams meatballs to me. It's because I haven't put the chicken in yet. Oh. Ah. Ow. All right, we'll add some chili powder. Whoa, these are spicy now. These are spicy chicken meatballs. And mine says I lost 40 pounds from just workout and YouTube videos. Still going strong. Holy cow, 40 pounds. That's amazing. Congratulations. That's super cool. We love celebrating each other. Louie loves any attention he can get. That's so cool. What types of um, YouTube workouts were you doing? Like yoga? Little bar action? Little hit action? What was it? Tell us your secrets. That's amazing. All right, we are mixed. I have salt, pepper, chili powder. I just want to mix the cheese in through it and then I'm going to add the chicken and then we'll start a rolling. Yep, that looks good. That looks good. OK, this chicken, I got to put my hair back. Betty says, good evening, Harry Alex from South Jersey. Betty's comment isn't popping up on mine. It will. There it is. Good evening, Kyra and Alex from South Jersey. Is South Jersey near Connecticut? I guess it would be further from Connecticut than North Jersey. I didn't know if South Jersey was more south than Connecticut. Basically, South New Jersey would be the opposite direction of Connecticut. But Connecticut doesn't even touch New York. Connecticut touches New York. Eh. Well done. I'm actually going to continue putting garbage in this so you don't have to throw it away now. Okay. I I know, he also would really like his dinner and he's gonna have to wait. Sorry, Lou. Okay, here we go. Oh, and I'm gonna rinse my hands and then I'm gonna start squishing these meatballs. Okay, Amani, how many days till you move? It's getting close. Wait, whoa, wait, if I can remember correctly, it was seven, or it was 11 days last time, so my guess is Amani is gonna say four. Four days? Amani, do you move? Oh, no, no, no. Gabriella, were you four days? No, 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 Omani was four days. Oh, no, sh Betty's near Atlantic City, so we were wrong. I also don't know where Atlantic City is. Have you been to Atlantic City, Alex? I have not. Never? Oh, I heard it's uh, got good casinos. In all your days? No. Garbage bowl is where it's at. I know, now I have a chicken and garbage bowl. Oh, this chicken was frozen and I defrosted it today and it's so cold. <laughs> Esther said, Everyone is talking healthy while I nurse tequila and whole grain crackers. Um, I too would like tequila and whole grain you crackers. Ow, sir. my hands are freezing. This is so cold. AC, Atlantic City is, I want to say she probably meant to say insane, but I don't know. And Shushana wants to move. Shushana, where do you live? Don't, I don't need your address. Every time I like say things like that, like about people like personally, like, oh, what's school or anything? Like I'm always like, I feel like it comes off really creepy, but I just want to like know where my friends live. Casino, a hard rock is there. That makes sense. All right. These are hella wet, but I think that they should still meatball fine. Gabriella is 21 days. Okay, Gabriella is 21 days. My guess is Amani is four days. Uh, thank you, friends. I would do strength training videos with body weights, dumbbells on Mondays, Tuesdays, cardio Tuesdays and Friday, or wait, Mondays and Thursdays, cardio Tuesdays and Fridays, yoga or walking on Wednesdays. And yes, she moves this weekend. I nailed it. Nice. That's awesome. I feel like a routine is really the secret sauce to getting like good at working out. When I'm in a routine and I've got like my schedule down and everything, it's so easy for me. But the second I drop that routine, the second I drop everything. <laughs> Wait, what does this say? Uh, shout. Esther, I'm, <laughs> I feel that I'm eating microwave mashed potatoes. Yo, I love mashed potatoes. I could F with some mashed potatoes right now hard. <laughs> Metro Detroit, okay. Got it, so you're not too far. Still Midwest. And then shouts, shouts Hana, anything Trader Joe's is great. Oh, Shushana, anything Trader Joe's is great. I understand, I understand. Oh, Shushana's eating Trader Joe's candy. Which Trader Joe's candy? All right, for anyone who's just jumped into the stream, I am making cauliflower gnocchi from Trader Joe's with the vegan kale pesto, which is my favorite pesto. Um, and then some chicken meatballs with, oh, this would have, oh, this, I was gonna say this would have been a vegan meal. I'm making, as my hands are literally making chicken meatballs. Um, but I'm gonna make, I'm making chicken meatballs with some spinach, onion, garlic, and ricotta. And then um, in the pasta dish, I'm also gonna put some zucchini and some mushrooms. Yum, yum. 
Cool. Nice. Yeah, what, what videos drew you in? Welcome to the party. We're a good time. I'm sorry about the autocorrect. I just know Atlantic City from how I met your mother. No idea how, how it actually is. Close to New York? Yes, right? Like, I, I know it's like East Coast. Like, I know that's where East Coast people go for, like, casinos and things. Um, Jersey. The Trader Joe's peanut M&Ms. Yeah, my mom would probably really love to have some of those peanut M&Ms right now. My mom loves all things, like, chocolatey or caramelly and nutty. Like, nutty is her favorite. And she lives in Mexico and doesn't have access to Trader Joe's. So every time she's here, she's like, goes crazy. Oh, and I just finished off Trader Joe's pineapple juice. We love to hear it. I didn't go to Trader Joe's this week because since we're going out of town and I'm quite sad about it. But as soon as I get back, that means I get to do an even bigger haul because I'll have nothing. Plump, 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 plump. All right, those are gonna have to do, I think there's like chicken at the bottom that I need to still make into one last meatball. But we're gonna get the stove going. <laughs> that was good. I don't think they could probably hear that because they have the water running right now. There's an account in Chicago that's like overheard in Chicago. They have them like all over, like overheard in LA, and it's supposed to be like funny things that you hear somebody say. I think they're never real, is my guess. But uh, Alex just read one that said, it's so hot in Chicago right now, I might call my ex just so I can be around something sh kind of shady. Ha ha. We love to hear it. OK. Betty Rarick is near Delaware. Betty Rarick is near Delaware. They've got good seafood in Delaware, right? All right, can we have the stove cam? I don't know. Do what you think is best. I'll play around with it. Okay. I'm adding some olive oil. A little fire. When the fire starts to burn, uh, it starts to rave. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Have you ever had vegan food from Trader Joe's before? I have. Uh, well, as I literally stand here with vegan kale pesto, which is my favorite. Um, what vegan food are you specifically wondering about? All right, this is trash. This can go in the sink. This is probably gonna go in. That can go there. That can go there. All right, things are looking good. Yay, I was finally able to catch a stream. Welcome, 704 Goku. <laughs> Thanks for joining the party. I am making meatballs right now to go with the cauliflower and gnocchi, and then I'm gonna start cutting up all of my veggies and things. I had somebody uh, DM me and be like, I'm actually so excited for this. I've tried three times at doing the cauliflower and yoki and they always turn out terrible. And I think I have found the secret sauce to them. So I'm excited to whip those out and show you guys how I make them because it's so easy to make the cauliflower and yoki go really squishy and no one likes that. All right, this is ready. We're gonna start placing meatballs in. I like to sear them and then plop them in the oven, which reminds me I need to turn on the oven. Uh, Emily Nimson says, Kai, I know your dad is British. Have you ever heard of mushroom toast? Apparently it's big over there. I got some blue oyster mushrooms today and made it and it was mwah. I have not ever heard of blue mushroom, to or mushroom toast. To be fair though, I hated mushrooms until literally this year. So it's very possible if I liked mushrooms as a child when I was like grew up with my dad. <gasps> oh my God, I like just threw a meatball. <laughs> I want to watch it on stream. That was so stressful. It flew. Oh, I still have like a minute. Um, anyways, no, I have never heard of that. Um, but I, young Tino would love it. He loves mushrooms. All right, is it this one? I think this is the one I throw. Nope, I don't know. Maybe oh, I missed yeah. it. Oh, it happened? I saw the recipe on TikTok, of course. Oh, young TikTok with all the recipes. Yeah. I, people keep sending me Nopales recipes now, but the one thing that they don't take in mind is that the nopales recipes, the nopales are already deformed and like not scary looking anymore. The ones I had were so scary. All right, I gotta turn this on. Because we cannot open the windows today because it is too hot outside. <laughs> what are you making, Debbie? Ow, hot. Hold on, hold on. What? Uh, for dinner tonight, we're doing cauliflower gnocchi with pesto and some chicken meatballs. 
Oh, these are really wet. Oh, these are gonna struggle a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna turn these down. I'm trying not to let them burn, but I also want them to sear, and it's kind of a tricky balance when your meatballs are too wet. All right, let's see if I can flip one. All right, we're gonna steam these two. We will get these to work. I feel that. We were so hot walking around today. It was not fun. All right, we're gonna let those steam a little bit. I don't know. I'm also gonna start putting the veggies back into this bowl. I know it probably seems kind of gross because this is where I put the chicken, but all of this is gonna get cooked too, so it doesn't actually matter. All right, I think we're just gonna slice the mushrooms into some little slices. Do you guys leave the stems on the mushrooms? I always do, but I don't know if that's like a normal thing. I've, I never ate mushrooms, so I don't know what like people typically do. All right, let's check on them. Maybe do some flips. Ah, they're sticking a bit. Okay, that looks good. Okay. Ta-da. Okay, they're, they're not my best. They really could have used like breadcrumbs or something. I've never put a cheese in mushroom or in meatballs. So the ricotta may have been a horrible idea. What was that? There was a sound. I don't know. I don't know either. I know, why did it sound like a twitch thing? Like I just got a new subscriber? Yeah, Sylvia. Oh, thank you, Sylvia. I didn't even know that could happen. I would rather just eat them. I don't think I do what? Rose says, feed me. I'm so hungry. <laughs> All right. We're just going to kind of let these hang out for a bit there. They're fine. Goku says, yeah, this name was stuck in Google Plus Limbo, so it's the account name I created when I was like 13, and now I can't change the name. All of my likes and history are on this account, though. <laughs> That's funny. I have, like, if you look up Kyra Button, I think you'd have to dive, like, so deep at this point, but it used to be that there was, like, a video that I put on YouTube when I was in eighth grade and it's from like our eighth grade like school trip to Yosemite and it's I titled it like kids falling in snow I think and it's just like four kids from my class like jumping into a pile of snow and that's the entire video and uh, I tried so hard to go onto YouTube and like get that account taken down just because I, I didn't I don't know I was like why is this even here why does this exist and I couldn't figure out like because I didn't have a login for it anymore there is no way for me to do it say Libby the video lives on Can't see the poll. Oh, can't see the poll on th on can't. phones. Alex says you can. I, I don't know. Oh really? Uh -huh. He says he was on his phone upstairs and he could see the poll. Oh really? I wonder. That's so interesting. Says, can you, can you ever go wrong with cheese? I don't think you can go wrong with cheese. So I threw it in some mushrooms and we bought. No, not mushrooms. I keep saying that. I threw them in some meatballs and we about to find out. <laughs> Thank you, Gabrielar. Oh, sorry. Gabrielar said you guys got to like the video and then I'll. Womp, womp, womp. Oh, really? Yeah. I need like an air horn, though. But like, also, it would have been way funnier if she actually wrote in like, womp, womp, womp. We are at 10 likes. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. All right. We are going to bump the heat back up a little bit. These are just so soft. Also, why does it smell like burnt to, uh, tortillas? <laughs> we got some air horn sounds. <laughs> I get initial bop, bop, bop. <laughs> get the air horn app on your phone. I, wait, wait. No, yes. don't. Yes. <sighs> this was a horrible idea. Get ready. Oh, no. Ladies and gentlemen, 
I've like thought about you doing this for so long and never said it. I feel like it's hard to get all of the dirt out from mushrooms. No, stop it. It's okay. This is my stream. It's okay. These are my friends. They're still, it's still your stream and they're still your friends. This is not okay. It's, nothing has even happened yet. <laughs> think of your video, think of your video as the first TikTok. I'm not quite sure what that means. What do you think that means? Think of your video as the first TikTok. I don't know. I just can't keep. All right, the oven is ready. I think the meatballs are gonna go in. They are so wet. Ugh. All right, that was great, thank you. All right, I'm gonna plop these bad boys into the oven now and let them cook through. Shelby was super late, because he was so delayed that we were talking about the pole still, but it wasn't up anymore. Oh wow, that's very delayed. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, you can take off the stove cam because I am no longer at the stove for the moment. No. Oh, get off of this website. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, that's the better one. That's the one we'll be using. <laughs> what? Uh, what do you mean to? Take, take, oh, remove stove? Yeah. <laughs> the other one's pretty funny. The dun 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 dun. All right, boom boom mushrooms. All right, do we do two zucchinis or one? Probably just one. Honestly, two feels kind of aggressive. Shelby, don't be embarrassed. I was just really concerned. The one, the one I have is called Tamhorn. Laugh my ass off that face when the horn went out the same face I give my boyfriend. Incredible. You're welcome, Alex. It's thundering here in Queens. We had tornado warnings yesterday. Alex was supposed to go to soccer and it got canceled due to uh, dangerous, weather. dangerous weather. And then I don't even think it actually rained. But there was a, there was a touchdown tornado. There was a touchdown tornado? So. Do you wipe off your mushrooms with a damp paper towel? No. Is that something I'm supposed to do? I just usually rinse mine in the sink and try and like rub them down really well. I don't know how to cook mushrooms. I've just started liking mushrooms for the first time this year. So I feel like I've discovered a new food. And I will be the first to admit I don't really know. Oh my God, sir, no, that is unnecessary. We do not bark in this household. We only air horn. <laughs> That's some pretty good, that's some good timing. All right. Just gonna cut up these zucchinis. The zucchini is really thick, so we're doing, I'm doing them in little quarters. Goku says, I had a roommate who was obnoxiously loud in every way, like sneezing, coughing, even, and I would give him the same look every time. <laughs> I assume you don't live with that roommate anymore. Debbie's talking about the tornado touched in Sycamore. Where the heck is Sycamore? No one knows. No one knows. If you find dirt on the mushrooms, wipe them with a damp paper towel. Oh, these are mushroom things I did not know. Now I know. What? Edible dirt. What? Edible dirt. Dude, so my friend Anuk was, she just went mushroom foraging in Colorado and got like the craziest, biggest mushrooms. It was so cool. I was so jealous. I want to go mushroom foraging. That sounds so fun. Ooh, I still really want to make a burger on uh, mushroom buns. I think that'd be delicious. All right. Boom. I think that's done. And I think this is done. And that is done. And this can go here. And these are going to go in. All right. We are now going to start the next stove. Oh, I might use this. Grab out another pan because this pan is dedicated to the meatballs. And in this one, we're going to go ahead and start sauteing all of the veg. John says, yeah, rinsing and they absorb the water. Oh. This may have totally been a thing all along, and I had no idea. <laughs> no, they moved out. No, they moved out. Nice. Imani says, Kai, if you feel victimized by Alex's horn sounds, let me know. You can sue him for emotional distress. Remember, I'm a lawyer. Nice. We love to hear it, Imani. I don't know what I would do without you. All right. Let's get this going, and I will grab out the gnocchi now. Watch, I don't actually have cauliflower gnocchi. That'd be so sad. But I do. Cool. 
call for our gnocchi action. I'm going to dump these in. We have the stove up and running again if you want to focus over here. Okay, the stove back up. Mm -hmm. All right. And I am just going to let these simmer. I like my veggies like well overdone. I feel like I get roasted for this every once in a while. But I'm going to let these saute for like quite a while. Um, and then I'll add pesto to this. And then we'll dump the gnocchi and add them in here as well at the end. I have spinach, and I'm kind of wondering if I should add the spinach in here too. But I think I would probably finish the spinach in my smoothies this week if I don't put it in here. So I think I'll probably wait. Okay. Cool. Good. We're good there. This can go back up, and I'm going to bring the air fryer down here. So the trick to these gnocchi, because they, the instructions, you will absolutely ruin them. Like if you cook them with the instructions, they just make them super gummy and not good so the trick is you start these bad boys off in the air fryer and then you finish them in the pan or vice versa you could honestly start them no no that's not true you could not start them in the pan because if you start them in the pan then they'll get gummy and then you could probably air fry them but that just sounds really messy but you kind of just got to be able to crisp them so that way they hold together a little bit better okay Witness number, witness number two. And my phone just said we were about to be in a thunderstorm warning and about to take cover. A witness to the amazing air horn. Bah, 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 bah. <laughs> um, Devin, I went on the balcony for a quick minute and jumped back in. Is it really going to thunder right now? That'd be exciting. That's why cooking is fun. You learn all the time. I know. I love cooking. It is like, at this point, especially since I don't travel right now, Cooking is probably my biggest passion. I think that's probably fair to say. Look at this little trash basket. I think so, probably. Not what? Uh, no, that's not trash. That is a good old head of garlic. All right, so I've just dumped the gnocchi into the air fryer. I have it on there for 10 minutes at 360. I won't leave it in there for that whole time. Um, I'll take it out at some point, but we're just gonna saute these. Should we eat dinner with chopsticks tonight? We had lunch with chopsticks today, and Alex said he would rather live in a household that only has chopsticks oh, oh. than has forks. You're going to lose this one, babe. I, I'm not trying to convince anybody anything. I just want to see the bowl. All right, Ray, would you rather pull from me? Oh, my gosh. We have a lot of, I have a lot of text. Would you rather live in a house with only chopsticks or only forks? Feel free to answer. Yeah, these mushrooms smell like normal mushrooms. These remind me of why I don't like mushrooms. Button mushrooms are not my favorite mushroom. I really like shiitake mushrooms. I love enoki, but they're still pretty good. They're just not my favorite. They're sauteing pretty nice though. All right. I'm gonna add the lid and let them steam a little bit and then we'll go another right. test. <laughs> Wait, what'd she say? Damn, I like spoons though. So why don't, so we just don't eat cereal or soup in this imaginary house. No, I think spoons are allowed in both scenarios. It's spoons and forks or spoons and chopsticks, I think would be your two options. Okay. Yeah, you can't, we, I mean, we can't, we're not, what would you do with soup? You'd slurp it out of the bowl. Like no, 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 no. Man, I'm getting more chopstick support than I thought I would. I, if it was if it was spoons and chopsticks and spoons and forks, I would go spoons and chopsticks. But I cook like 90% Asian food, so that's just me. I need my bubbly. I left it over here and I am parched. Guys, oh, here's a question. Not a poll, but a question. What is the best uh, seltzer water brand? Alex is on a huge seltzer water kick right now. And we are not a huge fan of bubbly. And so we want to know what is like, is there like a brand out there that's like notoriously the best seltzer water? Is it San Pellegrino? Is it, is it LaCroix? What is it? Someone tell us. We need answers. You can eat ramen with chopsticks, but then you still have to like slurp the, the broth up. I mean, like traditionally, ow, you would, ow, you would have chopsticks and a spoon. No, stop it with that button thing. Stop it. Two hours later. 
Oh, that's a good one. We like that one. Okay, wait. You could, you could drink soup out of the bowl better than waste your time with a fork. Um, my mom eats uh, cereal with a fork because she's kind of lactose intolerant, and so she doesn't want like the milk, but she still wants it to be wet. And so she, look at my face, I'm pissed. <laughs> so she uh, uh, uses it with a fork so it can still get wet. Okay. Aha is good. Oh, I've seen those. Target's brand Good and Gather has some good flavors. Pineapple coconut is so good. Oh, Imani is a hoe for seltzer water. I think Alex is also a hoe for seltzer I water. Seltzer I think you'd water. probably consider yourself a hoe at this point. I actually like the Aldi brand tangerine flavor. Okay. My person loves Spindrift. I freaking love Spindrift, but those have like those are those aren't like a plain seltzer water. Those have like no, it's literally seltzer water and like unsweetened juice, like just like a little bit of blackberry juice, and it's like 1% juice, the rest seltzer water. So it's like very minor, but that's this. Um, I was about to say, aha, okay, Imani needs, I need a shirt that says I'm a hoe for seltzer water. That's so funny. All right, these are not doing much right now. But over here, we're looking good. Alex, I cleaned the whole stove while you were gone. Yeah, I even put like this middle bit in the dishwasher. Okay, I'm gonna turn this on. Oh my God, I have meatballs in the oven. Oh my God, someone stop me. I should be sued. How long have these meatballs been in there? Are they burned? I know, I, I read that one out loud already. Uh, All right, I'm dumping in the chickeny liquid. There you go. I feel like the mushrooms and stuff needed more liquid anyways, and that just looked really yummy and chickeny. And it's like chicken and cheese water. Delish. I'm sorry. Good, because we're about to have dinner. Okay, we've we gotta stop. No. Alex. No more buttons. You've been cut off. You've hit your button quota for the day. Oh, I want to watch Dance Moms later. I watched so much Dance Moms this last weekend. <laughs> Amani said, Gabby, I'll make you one as a welcome to Chicago gift. You guys, when I have my next meetup, and Amani and Gabriela live in the city, and they come, and they'll come, and Debbie will be there, and I'm going to force Cervantes to actually say hi to me when he comes to the meetup. And so yeah, <laughs> we'll have a full crew. That'd be so fun. Okay. How are these looking? 16 likes on the video are doing great. Okay, these look pretty good. So here's the deal with the cauliflower gnocchi. Wait, oh, this camera's not even on. I'm showing it to a camera that's not even on. Uh, okay, there you go. Okay, so they're not like, they're not golden, they're not crispy, but the outsides are like drier. And you can tell they're still probably cold in the middle. So they're not done. But I think because it dries the outsides, now when I add them into the pan, it will let them cook without turning them into just like a full goopy mess that I think normally happens when you cook the cauliflower gnocchi. This is the hack. This is the, the secret. This is how they work best because otherwise you just get gross, wet. Okay, what have I done? Give me my gnocchi. Excuse me. <laughs> Noted. Remind me that when we actually schedule something. All right. So now we have the gnocchi in there. We'll bump up the heat a little bit. Toss these around. Oh my gosh, they look. It looks so good even without the sauce. I just love vegetables. I think Should they're I delicious. Should I get an air fryer? I've avoided it for years. I really do love an air fryer, specifically for anytime you're cooking anything that's frozen. I think an air fryer just does such a good job. I try not to have too many appliances. I am the same. Like, if you ask me, I would say get an air fryer over an Instant Pot. Even though the Instant Pot's more multi-use, I use my air fryer all the time. All right, I'm gonna just do a big old scoop of this pesto. I'll probably add more than that, but let's start with this. So the pork's 48, or pork 68% chopsticks 31. That's actually pretty good for chopsticks. I didn't think that, that is pretty good for chopsticks. I'm like kind of curious who's like a chopstick fan like this now. All right, I'm gonna bump the heat a little bit more. All right, and I'm just kind of coating everything in 
the pesto. Guys, if you like pesto and you haven't tried this vegan kale pesto from Trader Joe's, it is so delicious because my biggest gripe with normal pesto is it's so oily and I feel like the oil just like dilutes the pesto-y flavor. And so I'm obsessed with this pesto because it's less oily, which like I don't honestly even care about for health reasons at all. It's just because it tastes so much more pungent. It's so good. All right, we'll give that like a minute like that. All right, I'm gonna try one of these meatballs. I'm a little afraid that they're just gonna completely fall apart, which is fine. Well, first Goku says my house has one for burning an air fryer. And at first I didn't use it, but it's really versatile. It's really versatile. Um, Ow! Meatballs are hard. Says, I have an instant pot and use it so much. And then Gabriella goes on to say, chopsticks, but only because my boyfriend isn't good at using them and it makes me feel smart. <laughs> Okay, Gabrielle's reasoning for chopsticks is the best part about the whole entire poll. Um, Gabrielle, if you have an Instant Pot, don't buy an air fryer. There's a special lid that you can get for your current Instant Pot that will also turn it into an air fryer. I wish I knew of this when I bought mine because I would not have this extra appliance. I would just have a second lid. So look into that. All right. Oh, you know what I want to do? I'm going to shove a couple of these meatballs in the air fryer. Just for fun. They're just kind of wet. They're good. They're actually holding up a lot better than I thought they would. I was quite afraid. But, ow! Gabby Taylor says you've altered the course of my life with this information. Okay, good. Because I wish someone had altered the course of my life with that for me. Now I have an extra appliance. John. And it was cheaper. It would have been cheaper for me to get it. So. John says, I wonder if the Oki would crisp up in a screaming hot walk. Um, it'd have to be really, really hot. Like, really hot. I just don't trust, I don't trust the gnocchi to crisp in a pot or pan. The only time they've really worked well for me is in the air fryer. That's See, true. even here, they've gone a little gummy on me, but they should still be fine. Oh, did I burn everything? No, we're okay. <laughs> I know. It would have been it would have been cheaper for me to do that than it was for me to get an air fryer. And mommy says, what air fryer brand do you use? Alright. What air fryer brand do you oh, use? Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh hold on. Give me one second. I'm stressed. Okay. Yeah, is it not on this? No, it is on the screen. Okay, that looks good. That looks good. Um, uh, mine is from Dash. Honestly, I don't. It's not an air fryer I would recommend. It's just the smallest air fryer known to mankind, which was great because I got it in our studio apartment and I did not have any space to add another appliance. Like I used to have to store it under my sink, like on top of our dish soap. But um, it's like there's such better air fryers out there, but they're all just so big. Hence why I stand on the soapbox of get the lid for your Instant Pot instead. That makes so much more sense. Okay, this looks great. We are happy. Even still, like the, you can see like the gnocchis have kind of stuck because they get so gummy. Probably because I steamed them for a little too long. But if I hadn't put them in the air fryer first, they would just be, it'd be it's like, I don't even know, like goopy. Oh, this looks good, actually. I'm quite pleased. Okay. Yay! And I'm hungry. I'm just going to let those ones rock. All right. Grab some bowls. You can come over here if you want to turn on this cam. Prosper, Prosper Row. Row. Welcome. <laughs> Gabrielle said, thank you, Alex, for giving my text the proper enthusiasm. Prosper Row, welcome to the stream. I feel like we haven't hung out before. How are you? What's going on? Prospero's been here. Pro has Prospero been here? Prospero's definitely been here. Oh, sorry, sorry. That was rude. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I just was going to ask him about themselves and find out some facts. Well, you just embarrassed me. Okay, this is heavy. Ugh. Prospero says I made it. Okay, here we go. We're going to dump some gnocchi into one. John says, I heard you can cook a frozen chicken in that. In an air fryer, you could, except mine definitely could not fit a frozen chicken. But, like, you could, for sure. You're 
you're knocking this over. Yeah, you know what? This ah, ah. pan is heavy. Huzzah. Huzzah. Okay, I can go there. I'm gonna eat this. For anyone? Prospero says I'm on the first comment leaderboard. Prospero, I'm so sorry. I'm a fool. Ignore me. Oh, IG pick. Oh, thank you. Wow, these are so steamy. Um. All right, we're gonna use these ones. I need a fork. Oh no, Alexander. Oh, I did the dishes today. I ran the dishwasher. Are you proud of me? I'm very proud of you. Yeah, Baylor says I sent it to my friend and she's buying it for me. Uh, the air fryer for me as a housewarming gift. I do. I'll Aww. Share my review. Yeah, let me know because I don't have one. Um, but if it's really that good, maybe I'll get rid of my air fryer and get the lid. Two. I'm do three meatballs in each. One, two, eh, eh, eh. excuse me, please enter the chat, thank you, and three. This isn't a very cute one for picks though. It'll be delicious, but not, not super cute. All right. Bone. <clears throat> Ooh, I did make those meatballs a little spicy. Good. Clean off the lenses. Here we go. Yep, those look good. All right, you ready? I'm ready. Get your butt over here. I would do just this one big one. Wow, I look great. It's so nice to not be blurry. Yeah, it's awesome. Honestly, I need to add meatballs to my weekly dishes. They look so easy to pop in the air fryer. Meatballs are just one of my go-tos because you can make meatballs a million different ways. I always get ground chicken because you can make Italian meatballs. You can do Asian meatballs and serve them over rice. Ooh, like so many good. options. Okay. John says, that looks amazing. I wish I could share it with all of you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a gnocchi there? What, gnocchi's made out of cauliflower? No, they're typically, no, they're typically made out of um, potato. Just made honey sriracha turkey meatballs with rice. Bomb, that sounds so good. Honey sriracha, a little sweet, a little spicy. A little sweet, a little spicy. Mm-hmm. How is it? So far, pretty good. Uh, hold on. I don't want to give an assessment just yet. I haven't tried the meatball. Okay. We're waiting. Yeah, I like that a lot. On a scale of zero to one, this is definitely a one. Woohoo! Woohoo! Nice. We love to hear it. One out of one. One out of one. One out of one. <laughs> I think I give it a four. I really, really out like of five. it. Yeah, a four out of five. I really, really like it, but it's not something where I'm gonna be like, oh, this is the best ever. It's just like I feel like pasta dishes, I'm always like, oh, that's really good, you know? If you if this was like on a menu, like what would you add? More pesto. More pesto. That's just because I'm obsessed with pesto, though. Um. Mm, I feel like it needs like another thing. Cherry tomatoes. Ooh. I'd add cherry tomatoes. Blistered cherry tomatoes. They don't have any, so How there's that. Blistered cherry tomatoes. You literally just throw them in a pan, so that way the skins get all crinkly. It's delicious. All right, I'm gonna go eat dinner. Um. You can go. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for joining. Dave Kim. Wait, I used to have a teacher named David Kim. Mr. Kim, Mr. Kim was a, a rock in my life. 
during high school when girls were really mean to me, I'd go cry in his classroom. I cried in a lot of teachers' classrooms, though. Um, have you tried Bonza pasta? They're made from chickpeas and are so good. Bonza sent me a PR box, and their pasta is phenomenal. I love Bonza pasta. I could not believe, wow, my hand looks huge. Um, I cannot believe how good their, their pasta was for not being made of wheat. Um, thanks for another great cooking with Kai. Emily says, bye people. Well, this was fun. Bye everyone. Ciao, safe travels. Thank you so much. I will not be here next week. I will be in California with my family. We won't have all of our streaming stuff. Otherwise, I would love to cook with Kai and Auntie Kate. That'd be so fun, but can't do it from there. However, I love you all. Thank you all for joining. I'm going to go eat my delicious dinner now. I hope you have a wonderful night. I'll see you next time.